Mail Treasures. In today's video, in today's video, I have got a hard goods haul for you. This came from the Goodwill outlet bins, which I haven't been to since early March, but these are still some of the hauls that I haven't shared yet. So what I've got here is a little more than 10 items and the Goodwill outlet bins, which is a place that you pay by the pound for most items. The breakable items there at mine are 20 items for a buck 99. And what I have here is about half of that. So it's, I think I've got maybe 10 or 11 items here. So it's about a dollar that I spent. And when I looked all of these items up, I should be able to make probably between $275 and $300, which I'm pretty excited about because a couple of them. I was a little dubious about them actually being worth anything because they just personally, they look tacky to me, but I know everybody's got different uh, tastes and whatnot. So <laughs> if it's your style, sorry. But um, if you're new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret. I'm reselling homeschooling mom that flips things on eBay, Etsy, and other platforms to help support my family. I am so lucky that I get to do this because it's a lot of fun to go out and have the fun of shopping for cool stuff and then selling it for a great profit. So I'm very, I feel very fortunate that this is something that I get to do. So hello, I am live. Hi everybody in the chat. I'm so glad that you could make it in today. Um, hi Lydette and Christine and Susan and I have lots of other friends in the chat. Wings of Love Sue. Karen, Veronica, Kimberly, Sammy. I can't say everybody, but hello everybody. I'm so glad that you're here. Let's get started. So the items I have, I do have some mugs here. I know that some of y'all are my, my mug life peeps. So I do have some mugs and I'm glad to start getting some more mugs listed because they sell. All right, let's, let's see, where am I starting? Let me get, get started in the right order because I have my tabs pulled up. So again, first up, when I go to the Goodwill outlets, and I want to get those 20 items. Sometimes I pick things up that maybe were things that I was like, I don't know if this is really something that's going to be worth it. But at the outlet, it's 20 items for a buck 99, or it's 10 items for a buck 99. If you have breakable items, it's up to 20 items for a buck 99. So I want to try to maximize that. And I actually had a friend of the channel tell me that they were able to like slide through more than 20 items. I was like, I usually just count it out, make sure I have 20 and I'm good. So I'm, next time I go, I may have to see like, how much can I push that for that buck 99? They may be just like, take it, get it out of here before it breaks because I don't have to clean it up. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, so this is one I probably would have gotten because it's a, a nice Boston mug. It looks like one of those Starbucks city mugs. Dunkin' Donuts has them too, but they're called something else. But it's the same kind of style. But this brand is America Wear. I don't think the brand is one that's like, oh, we need to take note of America Wear. I think it's more just somebody's going to want a cool Boston mug. And this one, as you can see, has like a raised kind of three-dimensionalness to it. It's in pretty good shape. No chips or cracks. It's kind of yucky on the inside, but I can clean that out. Uh, this mug, from what I can see, and I'm going to screen share. Let me screen share over. I did find like, here's one that was on eBay for $10.95. I also found another, this one is, oh, this is a Boston Terrier. Look, I didn't even notice. I just saw Boston. I was like, click it. Okay, that's a Boston Terrier. <laughs> and then this sold for $5.75 over on eBay. Personally, I see some questions in the chat. I'll come before I jump to the next item. Uh, personally, I'm probably going to list mine for $15 to $17. That way, if it doesn't sell after a while and somebody sends me a $10 or $12 offer, I'll feel pretty comfortable selling it for that. But it's purple. People like purple. It's Boston. People like Boston. So I think uh, it's a pretty safe bet. I, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Let me peek in the chat because I saw some questions that came through. 
Virtual I hugs. Baby, they can dance like a man. I forgot to turn that off. I'm being texted. Oh, my groceries are about to be delivered. <laughs> Oops. Um, my brother's here, luckily, so I can tell him. I'll text him when they get here. So hello, hello. I'm so glad you made it live. I'm so glad you're here, everybody. Ah, Bailey is asking, haven't been in a while. How have you been? been uh, how's Sally's been going okay? I haven't, yeah. Most weeks I make my goals. That's good. <laughs> Definitely. Hello, everybody. I'm seeing lots of highs in the chat saying hi. Oh, yay. You won a Shop Goodwill jewelry grab bag. Yay. That's exciting. Okay, Sammy's asking, when it comes to mugs, do you feel one-off sell better than sets, or does it depend on the mug? I think personally one-offs. I, yeah, um, unless, it, unless it is like a fancy schmancy set, like a coffee service or like a fancy chocolate service type of deal, then that would be something different. But for the most part, but I could be wrong. I could be missing the boat here. I'm fully aware that that's a possibility. Uh, I would have to look into that because I have, that's just personally what I do. Even when I get multiples, usually I split the sets up in case somebody wants, like they broke one of theirs and they just want to replace it. Hmm. I feel like I need to dig more into that though, because this is true. I Plus, I like things easy. I'm not going to lie. I like things easy and I know shipping a bunch of mugs is going to be harder for me than shipping one mug. I'm just being honest. <laughs> I like it. If, I'm sure somebody's got the name of the lazy reseller, but that, that could very easily be me. <laughs> yes. Uh, Heather says, I buy, uh, I buy mugs that are happy birthday and give them instead of cards. Oh, nice. Definitely. I'm looking in the chat, see if there's any more. Mm. Ah, they're cheaper than cards. This is true. This is true. Some greeting cards are crazy expensive. And you know, most people, they're just going to go in the trash. All right, next, let's see what we've got. Next up, and then I'll jump in the chat after I share. And look, it's just a little ornament. Now, it does have some paint, some orange paint on the bottom. I may see if I can get that orange paint off. But it's a little decoupage ornament with, it's, look, it's like a Christmassy ornament, but it's a Halloween. And it's got like vintage wrapping paper with a witch and a pumpkin and a ghost. What do you think? Do you think that the, the, I'm trying to talk myself into not cleaning it. Do you think that the orange paint at the bottom gives it character or? <laughs> no, I probably need to try to clean that off. And I think it would come off too. I mean, so I'll probably try to clean that off. Maybe it was, it was on something and it got, I don't know. Anyway, somebody might have a Halloween tree. I know there are people that keep trees up year round and then decorate their tree for each holiday. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I could probably get that off with, I'm trying to think what I would use. Because it's got a, a bit of a varnish. It's very shiny. So I'm nervous about using, like, I may try a magic eraser. At first I thought nail polish remover, but then I was like, I might take that varnish off. So maybe I'll just try with a, a microfiber cloth first. Let's start. Let's start safe. Look, Cindy's, like, enabling me. Leave it. Just leave it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, it blends in. Yeah. You think it's supposed to be there? <laughs> I'm all for I'm all for thinking like maybe I just leave it. <laughs> Cause I don't want to mess it up. This is true. It may, it may just be we'll find out. Okay. So <laughs> the the item that I, I didn't find this one. I need to probably do a little like I put decoupage vintage Halloween ornament. You don't find as as many Halloween ornaments. However, I know there, I personally know a lady who keeps trees up year round. But I found like decoupage Christmassy ones. This one's up for $16. That's the next item. Uh, so yeah, probably going to list it in the, what do you think? I was thinking about 12 bucks, but maybe, yeah, probably about 12 bucks, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is what I'm thinking for that one. Maybe maybe I should look a little deeper, and then maybe I'll list it for a little more. I feel a sneeze coming on. I apologize in advance. I can feel it. Is it going to go away? I can't tell. Here it comes. 
Is that it? Maybe. <coughs> yeah, there we go. Woo. All right. I'm looking. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. I thought orange paint went there. Okay, I could leave it. <laughs> it does blend in. Okay, I'll leave it. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, oh, yay. Hello, everybody. Oh, Cindy says $20. I could easily list it for $20. <laughs> Well, the thing is, because I like to price high, I don't mind putting a price that initially I wouldn't have thought to put on it because I do like taking offers. So that's that's good. Okay, there's something that is up. I think there's some, some sort of dust that got up my nose. Okay. Next. Uh, okay. The... The next thing I got, and honestly, these were the, there's two of them. When I got them, I thought, okay, I need my 20 items. I feel like they're just kind of like tacky, you know, these, I don't know, these kind of trees that have like the chip, you know, I can't think of words right now, semi-precious stones. But this one was kind of cool because it had this nice amethyst base, right? And then the, the tree part, it's either metal or ceramic. It's really heavy duty. So I was like, okay, I need my 20 items. So I got this one and then I got this one here. And again, personally, not my style. However, <laughs> they're about to be my style because wait till I show you what people, I found these exact ones that are still selling new how much do you think? You collect these, Cindy's? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Everybody, no, no, I'm sorry for saying I thought they were tacky because everybody has a different, right? Do you, so you probably know how much they cost new. So a lot of them don't have this like geode type base, right? But these have a really cool base with the trees. Yes, people do love their gemstones. And my sister is one of them. So I mean, I, I like them too. You know, I like, I, I'm all for geology and stuff. I'm waiting to see if y'all drop some numbers in. Don't Google it first. How much do you think they, they sold for new? Really? Here we go. Are you ready? You probably know. <laughs> so I was looking like, oh, these aren't the same ones. But still some of these numbers were like, whoa, we're looking at 129 80 bucks. And then I saw Wayfair and I saw that base and I thought, wow, that really looks like the base on mine. Y'all. Okay. So here's a pink one on Wayfair for $81. Look, it's got the same like base with the amethyst. It's got the pink top. It's got the same style tree, like tree trunk, right? It's very, I mean, the pinks are a little bit brighter in that one, but it could be just that they've enhanced the photo to make it look like that. 80 something dollars. I had no idea. They're not so tacky anymore. <laughs> okay. And then the smaller one that I, these are not amber chips because, well, they might be, they're awfully sharp though. So look, let's scroll down to this one. Here it is. Citrine. Cluster, gemstone, tree, amethyst, $91, you guys. You're kidding me. So I got these each for 10 cents at the bins, right? That one's cool. Look, it looks like a little, the geode is like a cave inside the whatever. The, yeah. So I'm just saying, like, here's another one that's a little smaller. What's the difference between that? Oh, that's got more branches. So mine's probably more like this one, the $54 one, because it doesn't have as many branches. But still, I'm just saying, I'm going to take a second look at these now when I see them out and about. So that being said, isn't that great? Can you believe it? Uh, these crazy trees, I'm going to probably try to sell at least $50 each. This one might, I might try to list it for a little more. I know that they're up on Wayfair. People can buy them right now, but not everybody shops on Wayfair. And 
<laughs> Cindy, do you want them both? Well, send me an email. I'll, send, I'll cut you a deal. If I don't have to list them and take pictures and all that fun stuff, then we'll, we'll work out a price. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, if you find them out, y'all, hang on, let me come over here and click on shopping. I had no idea that they they were worth so much. Look at this one. $600, someone's asking for that. $859 for this one. I seriously had zero idea that they were worth as much as that. So now when I see them out at garage sales or estate sales, look at that one with the base on that. Wow. I love that. Um, I'll take a second look at them for sure. Yep. And maybe you'll see them too. And maybe you'll take a second look at them as well. So put it up on auction, Heather says, see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. To definitely send me an email, Cindy. <laughs> and then we can take care of that. Lickety slip. Lickety split. Okay. They were, yeah, I remember because I think my grandma had one. And maybe that's why, because maybe I saw it at my grandma's house and she, you know, had a, all the grandkids would bring her like little tchotchkes or knickknacks. And so she had like a modge podge of like junky knickknacks. And maybe because I saw it in that realm of, you know, my frame of reference for them was that kind of like the little trinkets children bring their grandma. And that, yeah, so maybe that's why I was like, really? I don't know about these. Hey, now we know. You didn't know, but now you know. That's me. <laughs> All right, next. I love it. I love this next thing. It is a platter. It's, I'm trying to get it, because it blends in with the back, background. But it's a fish, and one, it's a fish, which is good. And two, it's cobalt, like cobalt blue. So that's good too. And because personally, my like my mom has a her kitchen is everything is like blue and white. So if you've got a lady or a man or whoever that <coughs> you know likes their kitchen is nautical or fishy or whatever, or they're like my mom, everything's blue and white, cobalt blue, then that would be something that would be a great addition to their kitchen. The brand on this one is Chantal, and it has the original Goodwill tag of $7.99, but I did get it at the bin. Sometimes when things don't make it at Goodwill, they send it over to the bin. <coughs> Pardon. <coughs> There's definitely some dust on something here that's not agreeing with me. Sue, so, I only found a couple of it up, up there. Here we go. So I found one here, and then I found one that was like with a lot. I didn't even open that one up, honestly. So that is that right? Four dollars? That can't be right. Oh, I guess it was an auction starting at four bucks. Okay. Well, then never mind that. So here, this one is on Etsy, <clears throat> and it's up for twenty four fifty. <clears throat> Pardon me, y'all. Ah, this item already sold. So here's the deal. I couldn't find it on eBay. And I couldn't, if that one is truly sold on Etsy, as it says, which it is, he sold, then I can kind of name my price for it, which I like to do. So I'll probably list it higher than that. I'll do one more search just to see, like, if I don't see any more out there, then I might probably at that point what I'll do is check and see what other fish platters are out there and what kind of prices they are. But I might end up putting like 50 bucks on it. If there really isn't another like cobalt blue fish platter out there, then that's what I'll end up doing. Cause it doesn't have any chips or anything on it. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Uh, your grandma had a, a metal tree with metal leaves. Nice. Oh, I bet that is pretty under the light. I think it's probably just the, you know, with the trees that is the, I think it was just where, in the context that I saw it in. 
Let's see. I think some things make it to the bins because they price them higher. Oh, yeah. Uh, than people want to pay. For sure, Lauren. Like this, probably if I saw it at Goodwill for 8 bucks, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. You know, especially if I looked it up and saw, oh, it's only 25 bucks. It's only selling for 25 I'm probably not going to spend 8 bucks on it. But at the bins, yeah, definitely. Ah, Jennifer, I miss Austin. Yeah. I Yeah, I'm not thrifting either. Luckily, I have enough in my crazy workroom to keep me occupied and enough hauls that I haven't shown you <laughs> to keep us busy for a little while, too. And I think, you know, we did end up taking some stuff to donate because we were cleaning out. And they had, I don't know if you've ever seen in the back of, of the Goodwill outlet, where they've got those giant like cube boxes uh, full of stuff that they drag out and they dump in the bins. Well, when we went to donate things, they had a bunch of those just lined up outside the, the Goodwill. So I'm sure the bins, if they're open, which I'm, I'm pretty sure they are, um, are probably getting a ton of good stuff because a lot of the stuff we donated, they didn't even take it into the store. They put it directly into those big, you know, crate things. I don't know what else they do with them, but yeah. They're probably getting a ton of stuff over there. Oh, well. Oh, well. Someday I'll get to go thrifting again. Next up, I got this trick-or-treat candy corn dish. This one says Happy Halloween and is from Kohl's. It was originally $12.99, and I found it, but it was just on Pinterest. I couldn't find one that was still up for sale. So what I did was just look for candy corn dishes and how much they are selling for. The ones I found were not as deep as this one. So I think that makes mine better. <laughs> because you want to have you want to be able to put your candy in it, right? That's the whole point. It needs to be deep enough for the candy. For the conda. Because look, the, I mean, there's this one. It's not as deep. There's this one. It's not as chunky or as deep. Funny how we can start talking ourselves up into why ours is uh, fancier. So this one sold on Poshmark for $8, which I'll, I'll probably put mine up higher. This one is, it's either on eBay or it was on eBay for $25. Yeah, it's up on eBay for $25. So hmm, I'll probably do that. I'll probably put mine. See, here's the one. I, it was on Pinterest. But when I click over onto the eBay link, it's like, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Yeah, see. So chances are that I'll probably end up putting mine for about $25 too. Even though it says it was 12 whatever from Kohl's originally. It's not up there now, and I think it's really cute. They're real, I'm surprised that there weren't more candy corn dishes out there. That was surprising to me. I really thought I would find like a whole bunch of them. So... Yeah, some some great stuff gets through the bins, right? So I think it's a mix, like at the bins, like uh, of things that are go straight there and the things that just don't make it. It's definitely, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a, uh, an option, but I don't think I'm. I don't know. I don't know. Candy corn, candy, candy corn. It's candy. It looks like. This stripy, it's stripy like this, but it's candy like candy. Very sugary. <laughs> oh my gosh, we did a, this is gonna be so off topic, but we did a science project with candy corn. Don't ever do this. <laughs> Where we put it candy corn in different liquids to see what would happen. And like candy, <laughs> candy corn, the candy is in, there's an inside to candy corn. Did you know this? There's an inside and an outside to candy corn. Because the candy corn dissolved, but then left this waxy outer layer, which probably is a surprise to no one, but was to me. So that's, uh, it was really gross. Maybe not really want candy corn anymore, but I used to love it. The little pumpkins, oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the next thing we're going to take a peek at, oh, of course, I've got to take the things off a bit. Next up, I'm getting it. Hang on. I put something on it, so it's flat. Uh, it is a dressing table tray. 
some salt gone on it. So guess what's coming soon? Salt shaker. So this dressing table tray, as you can see, it's not like the fancy schmancy, like lacy edged ones. It's more deco, like almost art deco. Not, I won't say exactly art deco, but more like, I might put that in the title or um, the words. Regency, Hollywood Regency. So it's got more of that gold, like Hollywood Regency maybe style. And it does have some wear over here that mm, I don't know if it's gonna clean off or not. I might try. I might try to clean it up. But again, I only got it for 10 cents, so it's fine. Vanity tray, yes. Um, so let's take a peek. I've sold some a million years ago. It's been a long time. Yeah, mid-century modern. So if you look, like a lot of them have these like frilly edges, like like these lacy frilly edges. But if that's not your style, if your boudoir is gonna be more mid-century modern or Hollywood Regency, then um, then that may not be like it doesn't fit. So somebody might want the style that has the little bar with the little balls <laughs> like there's got to be a better way to describe that where did it go I know I saw a couple uh, maybe I opened a new tab here we go so here's one that did end up selling so I found it on Pinterest so when I opened the Pinterest link it said oh it's on Etsy I clicked on the Etsy link and it said oh no this item is sold so do not despair friends you can still find out what it sold for and how much so we take the link here and you go over to Flipper Tools and on Flipper Tools you can find out the Etsy sold price. If you drop the link there, it searches it and it tells you that it sold for $26 plus shipping. So mine's got a bit of wear to it. So I might <clears throat> I might ask, you know, maybe 24, 25 bucks for that. Truly, truly. Okay. Then Hang on, let me get back out of this. There. The next item, we're going off on a candy corn tangent in the chat. Okay. Hello, hello, everybody. If, if at any time you have questions along the way, pop them in there and we'll stop and talk about it. We have another mug, Mug Life Friends. This one is a fabulous Las Vegas mug. And the reason I got this one, well, other than it being really cheap, is that it's got this like three dimensionality to it as well. You can see it's got raised stuff on it. It's all raised. There's no brand or anything at the bottom. So I could not find this mug, not the same exact one. So what I did was just kind of look, you know, I put three dimensional 3D in there uh, so I just have to go off of what's there. So what I'm banking on is that somebody really likes three-dimensional mugs or things with raised, you know, with the raised um, design on them. Pardon. Because there are a lot of Las Vegas mugs out there. <laughs> a lot of Vegas mugs. So chances are that I'll probably put it up around $15.00. And have to really try to keyword the you know what out of it because it could get lost in a sea of Vegas mugs. So I've really got to play up the three dimensional. I've got to play up all the different, like the roulette, the dice, the chips, the cards. You know, I've got to play all that stuff up because maybe somebody else sees the Las Vegas mug, but it doesn't have roulette on it. And they want roulette. You think 25 with or, or best offer? Yeah. <laughs> uh, do people drink coffee out of them? Are they? Yep, they're coffee. Yep. Well, I guess they could do whatever they please with it, <laughs> truly. So, uh, yeah, so that's, that's that. Right, okay. Moving on to the next item. We have another mug. Let me pull this out. Uh, so this one is home. And this is, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It's got Bible verse, Joshua 24, 15. You didn't have to say Bible verse. I think we know. 
but maybe we don't. Can't be assuming anything. So home essentials on that one. So, <clears throat> da, 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 da. here we go. So this one I did find, look, the ones I found were more like a shaving mug style that have that like pedestal almost base. This one doesn't have that. I don't think it matters too, too much. There's one on Zoo Lily that, so this, you know, this one as up for 10 bucks. There's a bunch out there, 12 bucks. And then this one that is like mine with the base is out of stock. So I'll probably put it up for $15. <coughs> I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to wait a while for it to sell. But again, I was just trying to make sure I got the 20 items for the buck 99 so that I could, could get the most bang for my buck. Now this is bothering me with my bra strap showing. But anyway, uh, let's see. Do I put ounces in the description? I don't. I know some people do. Uh, and if that is something that you're interested in doing, you know, you just fill it up with water and then pour it into a measuring cup so you can see how many ounces it, it takes. I don't normally, but I measure the cup. Sorry, I'm hearing my kids. I'll measure the, the height. I'll measure the across. And if it's like this, I might actually measure the bottom too because it's wider at the top than the bottom. And that's generally what I do. Uh, okay. Yes, 69 cents a pound for breakables. Oh, I I, I am so grateful for the, the cheapness of the breakables. I mean, that's one of the first things I go to. Well, when I was still going was I would go hit the breakables because I knew I could get the most, the most bang from a book over there. Yep. Okay, next item is this mug, which I was surprised also that I did not find, I found one, but it was sold out. So this is a Burton, Burton and Burton mug, which I've seen this brand before, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Isn't it adorable? Again, Whoever donated, there were quite a few that had like three-dimensional stuff. So it's got these really fun Christmas lights, which I think are super cute and colorful. Very festive. There's no chips or anything. It's great. Great mug. But again, I didn't find that one. I didn't find one up for sale, which I like because I get to name my price, which I like. So Burton and Burton Christmas light mug. Maybe I'll do a little more in-depth search. <coughs> pardon after the fact to see but like this Burton and Burton mug uh, is up for $47 $59 on some different mugs I mean it just varies so what I I found it on Amazon but it's unavailable so probably uh, that's the next one hi I'm gonna look a little bit more, but probably gonna put it maybe around $35 or $40, maybe more, because it's super cool and I can't find another one like it. And somebody's got to ha probably has it at home and they're like, I love my Christmas mug. Mm. And then like the kid comes along and smashes it by accident or on purpose. And then uh, they wanna get it back, so yeah. And there we have it. Now, next item is another mug. Got one more mug for you and some other stuff. Not This isn't the last item. So this is a brand that I do like finding, and it is called Life is Good. Life is Good mug. And this one on the back says, do what you like, like what you do. And, yeah, so this is a diner-style mug. As you can see, it's like that really heavy, thick ceramic wall. So I would make sure, I mean, look at the chunkiness on that. And <laughs> the handle is compared to this handle, which is more refined. So this is a diner style mug with the thickness. I'm repeating myself. Oh my gosh, stop it. So <laughs> that mug, let's peek over here. And I think when I did a search, I may have searched it wrong. because I think I put something else in the search. But um, this one, yeah, the snowflake, 
it's up there <clears throat> on this website for ten dollars but i'll probably i think i put there my name is my no i need to do life is good uh i don't know why why did i get that mixed up anyway so it's up on poshmark my brains uh for fifteen dollars so that might be the realm. Maybe I'll put it up for 17 something. Because if it's only on Poshmark in this color and not on eBay, then again, mine could be the only one. I didn't even look on eBay. Let's go look. Let's do this, friends. Let's find out. Nope, oh, there it is. All right, so it's up on eBay for 20 bucks, 10 bucks. A few different price ranges. So if that's really all of them, one sold for 10 bucks. Yeah, maybe I'll put mine around $17.99, and that's what I will do for this mug. And then, <coughs> pardon, I have, oh, this fun thing. <laughs> I need to plug it in and play with it. But this little Halloween plug-in, it plugs into the wall. It's got an on switch and an off switch. Won't this one be fun? And I want to find out if the little... If something blows to make the candle flame flicker, I should have plugged it in before I came and talked to you. But I didn't. So that's going to be a fun one to play with. I couldn't find this same exact. I love it. I love Halloween stuff, though. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I couldn't find the same exact one, but like here's a Halloween just like ghost candle holder that's up for 20 bucks. I need to do my search a little more. I need to do a little more digging on my search, though, I think. But because I like it so much, <laughs> I think I'm probably going to end up listing it for $40, unless I find something different. I don't know. I really like it, though. I think it's one of those things that's like, I want to keep it secretly, so <laughs> I'd rather list it for a high price. I just love it. I'm going to have to pl go plug it in and like take a picture of it for you. Yes. <laughs> then, okay, a couple other things. I didn't even look this stuff up. I got one turkey salt shaker, and I'm trying to decide, do I go ahead and list this turkey? No, nope, I don't know. It still has salt in there, and it's just taped at the bottom. Or is this going to be like a redonate thing? What do y'all think? I need your help. Then I had some seashells, which I picked up as well. So I got this shell. I got a starfish or sea star. Got one of these type shells. I don't know the names of all the shells. And then a spiny one, spiny shell like that. So those I need to find out a little bit more about and what they could sell for. Because shells can sell for a good amount. And then this cup, which is not breakable, but it's a Starbucks. I need to look. I didn't look it up. I didn't look this one up. But Starbucks, even the plastic cups can sell. Okay. So definitely takeaways here is the, the trees ended up being the winners, which I was not anticipating. And then the fish tray is a big one, is a big one too. So... Pretty excited about that. List it keyword tiered tray. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, can do. And I'm looking, so you go ahead and list, yeah, this is true. Finds of yesterday says, so probably the turkey I'll end up listing for maybe like 12 bucks, because I see pairs of them up for 15, 30, just depending on what the turkey looks like style and all that all right i am so glad i was able to come on today and share this haul with you i've been you know getting a lot of listings done so i need to take some more pictures i have a little bit more to list from my pictures and i see a question real quick i'm gonna jump it in jump it in jump it in do i google image search to find your items faster or do you just type in keywords on my computer i just type in keywords <clears throat> but when I, let's say when I was doing, listing my Lego, or when I'm doing the, the comic books, I definitely do the Google 
either on Google or on eBay because eBay has the image search as well. So I use that a lot for those. But some of this other stuff, I just real fast typed it in because if not, I have to take the picture and send it over. I don't know I do that. So, okay. Okay. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out, everyone. If you're watching later, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Or if you're out there finding awesome stuff, then make me jealous. Tell me what you got. I, I'm living vicariously through other people's thrift, thrift alongs, ride along. I don't even know what they're called anymore. Ride alongs, thrift, you know, thrift with me videos because I'm not out there doing it right now. But someday, someday. I will be out there again. All right. Have a great one, you guys. And I will talk to you later. See y'all. Bye.